Dominic Reyes is mad that he's the opening fight on the prelims versus Ryan Spann at USC 281. Not too long ago, he headlined a pay-per-view and almost won the title versus John Jones. Then he co-main evented a pay-per-view. Then he main evented a fight night card. Now he is the opening fight on the prelims. It's more about respect than anything else because he gets paid the same regardless of whether he opens up the prelims or not. But the higher up you are on the card, the more prestige is attached to it. As a fan though, it's a good problem to have. You're such a good card that they have fights that could headline a fight night card as the prelim opener. Also, if you're going to watch an entire card from start to finish, that could be a seven hour investment of your time. So it's not necessarily bad to have some really good fights intermingled with some ones which are not that intriguing. One intriguing fight on Saturday is the co-main event. Cub Swanson taking on Jonathan Martinez as Cub drops down to 135. He's had some victories in his career which have aged exquisitely. He holds wins over Oliveira and Poirier, who are the top two guys at 155, and he KO'd Oliveira. Got a favorite Cub Swanson memory? Let me know in the comments below. Gonna pick this fight with Duho Choi. That was a magical fight that led to Cub and Choi being inducted into the UFC Hall of Fame. Hezbollah could be inducted into the UFC Hall of Fame one day now that he signed with the UFC. Hezbollah versus Johnny Walker. Translate to English, that is English. For Johnny Walker, this would not be weird enough. If you compile all the weirdness that has happened to Johnny Walker in his life, that would be a minimum of 116 season series on Netflix and he'll add to that compilation January 21st when he takes on Paul Craig. I give Hezbollah a favorable chance of beating Connor. Connor might not take that fight. Floyd would definitely take that fight. Well, he'd box him so maybe the USC should sign Floyd and have Hezbollah as his first opponent.